We're just two years away from the upcoming Winter Olympics, and uh, it could be a great one because we'll see a gold medal game, best on best, NHL players, and with more, we're joined by Director of Scouting, Craig Button. And Craig, you know, you picked your Team Canada today. Let's emphasize today. Um, and some interesting <laughs> decisions here. It's not an easy roster to pick, but let's take a look first at your forward list and some obvious names. Connor McDavid, Nathan McKinnon, Sidney Crosby, uh, Zach Hyman kind of playing that Chris Kunitz. A lot of chemistry with Connor McDavid uh, like he had with uh, Sidney Crosby the last time we had a best on best tournament. But, you know, is it is it safe to say that the strength of this team is at center? safe I would say that it's the absolute backbone of this team when you when you look at the star power the best player on the planet in Connor McDavid you know Nathan McKinnon who's, who's an absolute superstar and then Sidney Crosby who has been everything for Canada and certainly in the NHL and Connor Bedard who's certainly looking like the future so when you look at the center ice position I mean that is that is not only the high-end talent but it's also the group that's going to drive everything else on the wings. So you can look at a lot of the different wingers that are there, some having good seasons, some players that you're projecting, like Quentin Byfield, who's having a fantastic year. Where can he be at in two years' time if he continues on? But McDavid and Crosby having the opportunity to play together. McKinnon, a return to best and best, best hockey. 2016 is the last time we saw that. It'll be 10 years since we saw best on best hockey when it comes to the Olympics and in 2026. So it's a fantastic group of centers and make no mistake about it. It is star driven. It is star power. And this is the backbone of Team Canada. You know, I had to remind myself who the captain was for Team Canada in Sochi. And it was Sidney Crosby. So is he the obvious choice to wear the C for this tournament? There is no other choice. And people will say, oh, what about McDavid? What about this player? Sidney Crosby is Captain Canada. And when you think about what he has done in his career, in, in every single regard, it doesn't matter what he's touched, when he has worn the Maple Leaf or worn an NHL uniform, he has been a winner. There, there is nobody else that's going to be the captain of this team. It will be Captain Sid all the way. No, Craig, you, you hear it all the time that Team Canada could ice like two or three teams and they would all compete for a medal. And a lot of that, especially when you look at, you know, today's game, it's the forward group. So who is your toughest omission in this roster? I don't know, but let me just get something clear right now. It's hyperbole to think that Canada's <laughs> second or third team would compete for a medal. First of all, this team, their best team, doesn't automatically get a medal. Look back to 1998. There's lots of times when the best players haven't been able to do that. So, yeah, Canada has a lot of depth. Uh, you, you look at it and you start to let's say, who could be your biggest omission? I don't know if there's an omission or I'm allowing for younger players right now to show what they have. And, and at the same time, seeing how some of the older players will look down the stretch. I'm talking specifically about Drew Doughty and Alex Petrangelo. I don't think there's any question if the team was picked right now to play right now, Dowdy and Petrangelo would be on my team. I want to see where they're at in two years' time, and I'm also allowing for some of the younger defenders to be able to show what they have. But right now, clearly, Dowdy and Petrangelo are, were the hardest ones to leave off. There. I could have done it, but it's uh, a long time since those guys have played for Team Canada when the Olympics roll around in 2026. So that's where I'm at in terms of uh, a duo of, of, of defenders that have been great for Team Canada. Okay, so we're taking a look at your blue line right now. Um, I, I'm sure it didn't take you very long to fill out Kale McCarr on the right side. And we talked a lot about the chemistry between Hyman and McDavid. Well, you have it with Taves and McCarr, Shea Theodore, Noah Dobson, uh, Josh Morrissey, Mackenzie Weger, You also have Morgan Riley and Evan Bouchard as the extras. Uh, meanwhile, Craig, maybe the biggest question mark for Team Canada, well, it is the biggest question mark, is in net. Um, who do you see kind of unfolding in that position, which really could decide whether or not Team Canada wins a gold again? You know, it's really interesting, Mark, when we talk about the gold pending and we're looking at, oh boy, this could be the Achilles heel for this team. I mean, Aiden Hill, for me, is, is the guy, Jordan Bennington, and I have Stuart Skinner there. 
Yes, you could maybe have another player too. We'll see what happens. But let's be very clear about one thing. I'm not so sure it's an Achilles heel mark. I'm not so sure it's a weakness. Mm. If you look at this uh, goaltending, Aiden Hill, Stanley Cup. Jordan Binnington, Stanley Cup. Under the greatest pressure, two-month runs for teams and, and everything that goes with a Stanley Cup push, Aiden Hill and Jordan Binnington have emerged victorious. So if we look at other goaltenders that could be playing for the respective countries, and we don't know where Russia is going to be, if they're even going to be part of this. So let's take Vasilevsky out of it. What other country has two Stanley Cup winning goaltenders on their team? Who has one Stanley Cup winning goaltender on their team? Uh, the positivity, Craig, I love it. You know, you could give that pregame speech to this team for all the naysayers who say that they don't have the goaltending. And you just mentioned two champions, and you know what the bar is for Team Canada anytime that they compete. It doesn't matter what the tournament is. It's a gold medal. So can this Team Canada compete for a gold medal? Yes, they can. I, the, their biggest competitor, in my view, is USA. USA has a really balanced, a really strong, complete team. And just like 2010, when Canada won the gold medal on the golden goal by Sidney Crosby, I think that 2026 sets up as a battle for the gold medal between Canada and the USA. So are they capable of winning the gold? Absolutely they're capable of winning the gold. And you can look at the U.S. goaltending and you, you, you look at Connor Hellebuck, Thatcher Demko, Jake Ottinger, and everybody goes, wow. Mm -hmm. I'm not having any worries having Aiden Hill or Jordan Bennington in my net. So absolutely, this can be a team that can win the gold medal and defend mm -hmm. the NHL standard players in the, in the Olympics gold medal from 2014 in Sochi. Well, the countdown to Milan Cortina 2026 is on. We're now just 709 days away, in case you're wondering. Uh, Craig, awesome stuff. Thanks for this. <laughs>